Welcome back to the player career mode guys, so today we're starting off with a game against Porto As we can see we are competing for the first spot with them in this group Obviously we want to get first so we can get a bit of an easier round of 16 Hopefully, but you never know, anything can happen guys And yeah, we will find out the knockout uh, stages later on today, the draw for that And obviously guys, we are confirmed to make it through, but we want to finish in the number one spot. Also, guys, uh, I've been thinking a little bit because we haven't been able to get to that Maverick personality yet. So I'm thinking that because we have this lot, uh, I'm going to use the Trivella playstyle for now. And, you know, when we can unlock that Maverick, um, I think we'll use that at tier 7. Uh, so let's go over to our attributes as well because we have a little bit to spend here. And I'm thinking our dribbling, guys, can always be improved. So let's upgrade our uh, dribbling to 90, ball control to 89. Um, you know, maybe I should also upgrade my defending a little bit because I do like to drop a little bit further uh, back and help out the defense sometimes. Strength and aggression is also important, so we will indeed be upgrading that. And so far, we are indeed a 87 rated. As we know, uh, Gabriel Jesus has obviously been sold. So there is a number available, and we are a striker. Our player is now the number 9 of Arsenal. For the first time so far in my career, I'm using a different number than 27. So that feels a little bit uh, weird, but at the same time, being the number 9 for Arsenal is, is an honor. So this is gonna be insane, guys. Hopefully we can debut uh, with a few goals in our first uh, game. Obviously, you know, in the last episode we had so many bad results. Uh, it was absolutely, you know, shocking some of them. So hopefully today will uh, be a little bit better. There we go. Martinelli finds the number nine. Sander, they've gone past one. Can we get another UCL goal? I'm gonna hit it with my left. There we go. And if only that was on target. Obviously, guys, we have 10 goals in the UCL this season. The record is 17. So let's see if we can add a couple more today. Kimmich, Sander, and... Oh my god, it is offside, right? That is an insane touch. And I see a bit of space to the left side. And again... The crossbar denies us, just like in the last episode, we hit the crossbar so many times. Really frustrating to be so close to a goal. But we gotta, we gotta keep going. I'm not giving up. I'm not gonna let that affect my game too much. Come on Martinelli. Yes. We have made a nice run. Let's keep going. Give it into Jorginho. Jorginho back to Sander and oh what an attack from Arsenal We deserve a goal there guys <laughs> What am I seeing right now? No, are you kidding me? Here comes Porto and First chance of the game, they've taken it, and our poor form continues in the UCL. Obviously we don't even need a victory today, a draw is going to be enough to give us that uh, number one spot. But, you know, a win would be nice too though, after so many bad results. But here is Porto again, Van Bissaka stops the attack, and we really do not have a lot of stamina left. So we just gotta use everything we've got here now. Come on, let's play it back to Saka. Come on, Arsenal. Yes, this is good. This is very good. Into Ödegård. And then, Jorginho! And it's gone in! Over the line, finally! And Arsenal really needed that. We do get taken out after, you know, about 65-70 minutes. And that is because we are at the risk of being injured, guys. No doubt about it. And we manage to turn it around that is so nice to see a win is always nice guys and that means that we top our group and we will find out 
who we're going to be getting in the next uh, rounds. Uh, obviously, when the other games have been played. So uh, let's uh, let's go back and take a look at the standings. Let's see then. UEFA Champions League round of 16. We've got Borussia Dortmund. Ooh, that will, will not be an easy away game. Their atmosphere is amazing. We know that from last season, guys, with Leverkusen. So now we're back in the Premier League. And yeah, I mean, there's a 10-point gap up to United after almost halfway through. And I think, guys, our, our goal for this season has to be top four and then try to win the UCL. That is the trophy this club wants the most anyway. But I don't think we're going to be, you know, able to compete with United because we simply have had too many losses, guys. Five losses already is not good enough in the Prem. You know, you're going to get punished. Uh, from other teams so you know I think top four would be nice and then you know a long run in the UCL and maybe uh, the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup but guys I mean if you want to win the Premier League as well we need miracles to happen uh, and now we've got Newcastle away which won't be easy oh what a run and again I feel like it's been years since I scored a goal. Oh, we've done well there, but um, the ball is over the line. Come on, can we win back the ball high up the pitch? Put on a bit of pressure, lads. There we go, that's the mistake I was hoping for. Jorginho, soccer to Santer, and this time... It is top bins, guys. We deserve that so much. That is our first goal with the number 9 on the back. Let's see if we can get 900 likes on this episode for number 9. Really nice assist. Uh, nicely uh, unselfish there from Saka too. Ooh, ah, oh, my passing. Letting me down there. Really wanted to give it to uh, Martinelli. But uh, this has been a positive start for Arsenal, guys. I think, you know, that City result really helped us a lot. Because, you know, before that game, we lost everything. And now Arsenal is playing good football again. Martinelli gets his goal. And we're 2-0 up. Newcastle and Ramsdale is there. What a job he is doing in goal for us. Ödegård, can you find Sander? The Norwegians, look at that pass by the way from Ödegård. Insane curve on it, and Sander finishes! Newcastle, they get their goal. They've been getting more and more into the game. Newcastle in our penalty box, and we have to give them a corner kick. No, no, no. Come on, lads, get it out of there. Van Bissaka. We have picked it up. And there's so much space. Do we have the stamina? And we'll send it to Martinelli. And it ends there. Good pressure from Arsenal. Come on, boys. Do we have any options? I'm gonna hit it. And there we go, it goes through everybody. I'm not gonna lie, that is a lucky goal. I did not expect that to go in when I shot it. But um, that is what we needed right now, 3-1. Here is Newcastle United, Ramsdale, Davis. Oh, Davis with a good job right there. And Arsenal can we win it back, Ödegård. Yes, nicely done lads. And we will use our last bit of energy on this attack. Pass one, we give it to Vieira. And that is game over, just like that. Arsenal with a huge victory away to Newcastle. Two goals, I mean, probably one of my best performances in an Arsenal shirt. And I think one of the best performances this season to be fair and you know let's just hope that Manchester United have dropped points because that that's the, that's our only chance for this title you know United are the team to beat 
We take them out of the match trophy. It feels like it's been years since we got that. And uh, now we have a game in the cup coming up, which is uh, the Carabao Cup again. So obviously we did knock out Chelsea last time. This is the quarters. And looking at the draw, we have probably gotten very lucky here. United are through to the semis. West Ham as well. We should be able to beat Tranmere Rovers, surely. Oh, here we go. Can we have the first goal? Off the match already. And just like that, it's taken five minutes. And we are off. I think this could be ugly. We could get a lot of goals today. The youngsters have done a good job so far. Nice to see them get some playing time. Come on, Bambisaka. And then up to Sander and Shirley. Are we going to get another one here? We keep going and... Oh, wow. What a run. Oh, this is insane. Can we get our second? Just like that. We make it 2-0. There we go again. Trivela. That is my first time using the Trivela, which obviously is our new playstyle. And uh, hopefully someday we'll score a goal just like that. Kind of like a Roberto Carlos type of goal or Quaresma type of goal because we are right footed. So I'm really happy about that playstyle actually. I think we will keep it. Luis Kelly over to Sander. We play it to Saka. Here we go. Van Bissaka to Sander and finish. It is a hat trick guys in 30 minutes. We are having lots of fun today. I think I should stop celebrating soon though. No offense to Tranmere, but how have they even made it to the quarters? That is a good achievement. And you know, anything can happen in the FA Cup. But I think Arsenal is gonna be too strong for them. Most of the top keepers do save those. But we have four goals in the first half. Okay, Tranmere Rovers with a promising looking attack, but is anything going to happen though from it? Okay, they end up getting a corner kick. No, they don't. Play that through to Saka. Let's see, can he get himself on the score sheet and Saka! scores it we have a nice assist and it is five come on do we have another one in us and surely I mean it looks too easy guys it is six nil are they actually gonna get a goal and Tranmere have scored we do not keep the clean sheet can we get one more? Let's give it to Sokka. Finish it. And that is 7-1. We take it, guys. Another assist as well. A little bit of a stat bad session today, but... Nice to have one of those days, finally. Was there any doubt that we would win this game? I don't think so. You know, we got lucky with the draw, so uh, thank you so much to the FA for that. I don't think it will be that easy though in the next round, uh, but that means that we are through to the semis of um, of a competition and ooh, we could be facing United, West Ham or Spurs. Imagine a North London derby in the final or even in the even in the semis would be very entertaining. So let's take a look here at the draw Carabao Cup and we've got Manchester United, the team that is currently sat first and I mean if we can beat them we might actually face Spurs in an insane final. So that is um, that is going to be really, really entertaining to see what happens. Uh, but up next, guys, we're back in the Premier League against West Ham. And, you know, we just got to keep going here. I don't think we will win the league, as I said before. But let's just focus on ourselves and, you know, see if United drop any more points. Kick off. And, uh, guys, I just want to quickly say thank you so much for the support on this series. It's, it's kind of life-changing to see the amount of people tuning in every single day. And for some reason, it's just getting crazier every single episode. Let's see. Can we have 
the dream start into Ödegård, come on again! Ödegård with the first goal of the game, it's taken two minutes for Arsenal. And I'm just saying guys, thank you so much for the support on this series, it's, it's so nice to read all of the comments, you know. So much nice feedback and if this series helps you take your mind off things for like 10-15 minutes every single day, I'm happy with, uh, with what I'm doing, so um, keep up the support guys, I really appreciate it. And again, just West Ham doesn't seem like they can get, uh, get anything working for them today. Let's take advantage of that and get ourselves another goal. Yes, we've done so good. I play it to Jorginho and he can go all the way. Them with maybe the first chance of the game. What a save! Rebound and saved on the line. Oh my god. West Ham gets so close. Yes, one Bissaka. And then Martinelli back to center. We finish, but it does get blocked, unfortunately. That could have been game over. We need to get 2 0. We have to go again. Over to Sander, can we find a way through? And again, guys, we hit the crossbar. Oh, why got a. I mean, they had advantage. Alright. Free kick for West Ham. Brunerson, no issue with that. Good touch. Yes. Okay, what can we do with it? I'm gonna whip it in and there we have Martinelli! Wow, my crossing is improving. That was a really nice one. Arsenal is pushing now. Martinelli from the corner. We have another one. Come on, Sander jump up for it. Again. Saka, Kimmich, finish it, Martinelli secures all three points. Come on Saka, is that off? I don't think it is offside. We keep going past everyone and just like that we make it three. Let's see if we can at least keep the clean sheet. Kudus and Davis is there as always that is the end of the game we beat West Ham 3-0 at home you know hopefully United maybe have dropped some points that would uh, make my day even a little bit better and I'm not sure if they've uh, even played yet but uh, there's many matches you know happening right now and the next one is gonna be maybe the biggest one in the Premier League this season for Arsenal because it is a North London Derby and this is something I have never experienced before so I cannot wait for this. Derby Nunes with the kickoff, Fubino has been scoring a lot of goals in the UCL this season for Spurs and uh, wow I would love to score in this game you know this means just a little bit more than others forget about who has the most points you know all of that this game is um, just different and in my opinion this is one of the best derbies in world football no question about it come on Arsenal a win here would be so satisfying and I think the Spurs supporters absolutely hate me because we chose Arsenal over them in the summer Spurs wanted to sign me but we said no come on Saka let's find Martinelli and he's 3-1 goal no it is off Oh, unlucky guys. Keep going. Sander all the way. And we finish it top in. What a goal. And now it is time to pull out this celebration. In the North London Derby. Come on Sander. That's one of my favorite goals. We just kept running guys. And running and running. And the finish this time. Does not take the crossbar for once. 
Big mistake from Spurs. Kimmich. Sander will give it to Martin. Back to Sander. And then Jorginho. What, what is he trying? There was nobody there. A bit of a big mistake actually. We've been helping out so much defensively today. But now Spurs maybe with the first chance of the game. Darwin Nunes finds Harvey Barnes. And Spurs aren't able to do much more with that. And now we've got space here. Let's give it to Martinelli. You can go all the way. Come on. Alright, he passes it back. I'm gonna hit it! No. Referee, that is another free kick. And... Wow, I mean, it, it's not gonna be a red card, obviously, because of the angle, but... If that was through the middle, maybe it could have been a red, because I was the last man there. Alright, so it is Ödegård taking this one. Let's see what he's going to do with it. He crosses it in. Romero heads it away though. First off is done and so far we've got the only goal of the game. And yeah, I mean, scoring in this match, guys, is, means a lot. It's very special. And we can take that off uh, our list right now of accomplishments that we have in our career so far. Oh, here is Spurs, Harvey Barnes, and it doesn't really come too much, really, but it's still not over, Neves, and shot gets blocked, guys, it seems like Tottenham are a little bit out of ideas in this game, they're not able to create much, let's give it to Martinelli, and Martinelli, almost, lad. Pressure, there we go. But it is Tottenham who still has the ball, and now they have players forward. Kulusevski, Darwin, but the Darwin misses the ball. Oh my god, okay, this is starting to become very intense right now. Kulusevski, Darwin again, and Spurs eventually do get their goal. And here they are again. Are they actually going to be able to take the lead in the game? Neves and Ramsdale with an absolutely insane save. But this game really has uh, turned up the heat right now. Neves! Ramsdale is there again. It is now all of a sudden Tottenham who is looking the strongest in the match. And... Maybe they will get all the points. That's got to be offside. No. Van Bissaka. And again, we have given them a corner kick. How many are they going to get? They take it short this time. And that is a bad decision, I think. Jorginho. Come on, Jorginho. Get it up. Yes, what a pass. Can we destroy Tottenham with this attack? Oh, I wanted to get the ball a little faster. No, guys, we gotta do better with this attack, man. Ten minutes left, and now it is Spurs on the attack again. Kulusevski, no, it's Pedro. Crosses it in to Harvey Barnes. And that is an insane save from Ram still yet again. Can we get past Renan Lodi? We have barely any stamina left. Give it to Martin Odegaard. Jorginho and Arsenal cannot do anything on the attack now. It is Darwin Nunes. Our Spurs really gonna get all the points here. Back into Darwin. Nunes has done it. What a shocking second half this has been from Arsenal. Yes, there we go. Come on, there go, anyone. Kimmich. No! What is... What is this? Nah, oh, guys. We're gonna lose the North London Derby. We thought we could win it at half-time. We were up 1-0. 
And I don't understand what's happened in the second half, man. Embarrassing from Arsenal to lose it that way, especially against your biggest rivals. You simply cannot do that. And as we can see, guys, we are so disappointed about losing the derby. You know, that is going to hurt us for uh, quite a long time, I think. We look really sad. And the Tottenham players are just smiling. Ah. The dressing room will not be happy after that performance, guys. Ramsdale did his best, to be fair. He um, he kept us in the game there. It could have been many more for Spurs, really. But uh, I feel like, you know, it was our attack. We simply couldn't do enough when we, uh, when we had the ball. The Premier League Player of the Month shortlist has been announced. And uh, there's some uh, nice players in there, you know. Luis Diaz, Ramsey, uh, of course, Holland, and then Sander as well. But, um, yeah, guys, not, not the way I wanted to, uh, to finish the episode. No doubt about it. Congratulations to Spurs. And, yeah, guys, I mean, we can take a quick look at the table. Have United won their recent games? They now have 48 points. We have 37. So, we are even worse off than when we started the episode, guys. So yeah, I think the title is done. We're going to have to fight for top four and just go all the way in the UCL, which, um, you know, we have a tough game against Dortmund. So it won't be easy, guys, to get trophies this season, but let's see what happens. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.